Hey guys, Chame here from Ready Set Rum, and here we are at Wine and Liquors. This is um at Cooper City, Cooper City Wine and Liquors. It's in the complex here with the Walmart right next to it. It's on the corner of Flamingo and Griffin Road. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna look around and see what's going on, what good stuff they have in there. You hear the music in the background, they have a speaker outside. That's typically how you know you're at this liquor store. They always play music and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's get into it at Wine and Liquor Cooper City. Alright guys, so we're in here at Wine and Liquor. So top shelf Don Pancho 8 year 35 bucks. Don't really see that around as at all, honestly. Like it's very rare to find this one. Uh, the Ronde Berito, we got the Pompero, we got Barcelo, Trego, Ron Centerio, we got Monkey Spice Rum. Don't really see this one around. Um, Salt Bay, Baku, Santa Teresa uh, Plantation, you got a plantation right here. This plantation, the 20, the, 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 the anniversary, 20th anniversary, right? Uh, not 20 years old. Then you got the Dos Maduros, five plus five. Um, very, what is that, sherry finish? Cherry, yeah, sherry finish. Um, done five years in the Caribbean, uh, Barbados and Grenada and Guyana, and then five years um, in um, sherry cast over there. All right, so this honestly, great starter rum. Drank so much of it in my early rum days. So definitely could vouch for that one. Uh, you got the three plus five, close to a mixing rum. Then you got the um, Brugal. Brugal 1888, very woody rum. Had it in a cocktail recently, man, and that thing stood out. Got some more Brugal, Florida Canya, and then you got South Bay. Never heard of that one before. You got some Crucian, some more eight stuff from Crucian. Got Afro Head, which I, I'm not sure if they produce any more of this stuff. Um, spoke with one of the guys who was a, a part of the, the, the business earlier on, but he's no longer part of that. But definitely a uh, pretty good run from Trinidad there. And then you got Botron, um, you got Papa Pilots. One thing, I tried this, this is pretty good. Uh, if you come in here, um, you can talk to people at the at the front and uh, you can taste some of the rums. They have a cart that they got some open bottles that you could try out. Then you got the Papa Pilots. They got some of the old bottles with the chain. Obviously old bottles with the chain or they're bringing these chains back but definitely got the bottles with the chain on them so come check them out they got the monkey exo the black barrel the monkey white then these are one of the few people that have the xm rums x is from guyana and it's something that some of the locals that i met in the store buying three and four bottles at a time they're like man we drink this stuff we love this stuff this is way more popular or better i don't know they just, just really love the xm rum stuff uh, and they, they they just like they love it so that's around if you haven't checked out you can check it out um it's more clean it's not as as i don't know the, the depth of flavor to me is very different it's closer to like a, a barbados or a trinidad rum than a Guyanese rum to me but the 15 gets very woody right and then they have the el dorado old bottle so these are the ones with the sugar still in there uh they got the old one the old 21 and they have a sale right now on the 12 year for 29 dollars and on the 8 year for 20 dollars then you got the the um bamboo bamboo rum myers um bourbon court you got the angus 1990 got some diplomatical then you got 10 to 1. so this is one of the new rums um, on the market sierra now is a part owner of it and the guy was like a vp of um we call that company starbucks back in the day then you got some more trinidad rums right here you got the fernandez black label you could only see this in very few stores see this store and one other store right down in um, south florida here so not very common to find you got punch in 1919 and the white oak something that is rare to find is this don q right here uh this has been defunct for quite some time but they have it in store and they got zaya which is a uh, um private label thing from trinidad but it comes here with the tiki rocks glasses then you got the zafra zacapa you got all the appleton lines and you have bacardi 
we come down to the next lane got some more you know some more typical mixing stuff they got the j-rays which you can't really find anymore you got the big bottle as well they got ray and nephew they got money moss right so they're out of the 10 year but they still have the five year on the shelf um another thing that's not really easy to find here in south florida then you got some Kraken, black magic sailor jerry captain morgan malibu rum haven made with real coconut water never tried it honestly pirate bay not a fan of that coconut one at all Oka, one of my friends he swears behind it you know he just makes his rums and stuff and he loves the oak heart then do we you got the goslings you got some coconut some barricade coconut not sure i think that's probably a cream or something you got ron charles you got seagram seagram what is this seagrams here never seen it 35 proof Brazilian Seagram's Brazilian citrus rum with natural flavors, huh? Never seen that, guys. You got some more rum barcel over here and a boilo. And you know, then you got Pelican Harbor, you got some Cockspur, you got some Run Charles again, Run Zalaza. I don't know what that is, never seen that one before. All right, you got some Oak and Key, some Bagulu, Bagulu. Hmm never heard of this one all right then you got some punta cana you got some yolo so yolo rum i think they're gonna do a tasting with um they're gonna taste with florida rum society soon so i'll let you know how that tastes i probably got two samples at the house wicked dolphin went up to that distillery recorded but somehow never actually edited that video of the wicked dolphin uh one barrel i've seen this on the shelf here for quite some time i have no idea about this rum uh, i think it's belizean rum belizean dark rum or something like that let's check what did it say yep import from travelers liquors yeah and travelers is belize so uh, oh it says right there too product of belize all right so you got the 151 spotters never seen that one other than inside this store you got the catavejo you got some Rodrigo, some more monkey spice, some crusions, mixing rums right here. You got the crusion rums, Club Caribe. Then there's Don Q Mojito. This is probably, probably should try this one out. It's like what, 13 bucks? Then they got the Don Q7 for $24. Great price on that one. Then they got the 2005 Don Q. So this one is 90 bucks. I don't know, we gotta look at this one. Huh. We gotta look more into this 2005 version, right? Then they got some more Don Q's, the Crystal, good for you making your coquitos, some Bacardi. And honestly, you come through here, sometimes they got some rare stuff I've never seen. One time they had a tequila rum mix. So you always gotta check, check all the shelves. All right, so in the bottom shelves just have some extras. All right, but one thing I gotta show you, is further in the back so they also have this they have a don they have a don q rana Nijo comes with a mold to make your ice spheres all right so definitely if you come in check for the back to get one of these setups right pretty much probably same price that they have in the front I think it was 59 bucks all right they also got some more zayas back here a little further back you come back here they got some overflow in the back got some more yolos some more three goals some um agradente ron marquee they got it i never seen that before so they got some extra stuff in the back here you know uh centario 7-9 ron Marine and yeho centario 12 and then other liqueurs and other spirits so guys um oh I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, so they have Shandy down in the corner right there. You can get a six pack here if you want. All right, so come check them out, buy them out. Definitely, some of the things I, I'm looking forward to is the uh, the Don Q. Don Q Gran Añejo is my favorite rum from Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah, Don Q, just my favorite. This one right here is just my favorite. Can't lie, that's really good. Um, what and also oh man i almost forgot to show you guys this what's up man what's up everything's great right, number 23. 
Hey guys, so one thing that you can't find anywhere else, I haven't been able to find anywhere else in South Florida, in any way, honestly, is the Angostura number one. This is the second version, 16 years old. From all accounts, this is the best version of the Angostura number one. I have the third version. I definitely gonna pick up one of these and I will taste them and compare them on the channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe to every video. And definitely you wanna make sure, put on your notifications that you don't miss a episode. They have the number one. They also have some other bourbons and stuff here that are pretty rare. And they have like, what's that, a bamboo? Looks like they have a bamboo package in the corner there. I'll look, look at that right now. All right guys, so they have the bamboo gift set here with two bamboo glasses in there so definitely guys when i come to these liquor stores i always try to find the gift sets just because free glasses and you know they're pretty always good looking stuff right so they got the x from the bamboo on there and the gold rim on the rocks glass uh so this is what i picked up i got the Angostura number one second edition the French oak 16 year old uh always wanted this I saw the the numbers on the shelves were dwindling so I decided to pick it up man I can't wait to try this thing uh yeah it's it's been a while I don't know I do I want to break this bottle I think I'll try to get a sample from one of my friends because I don't know when I want to open this bottle Knowing that it's the best one, I don't know if I'm going to afford a second one. It was about 120 bucks plus tax at the store. Check it out. Here, guys, is another ROM store review. More are coming, so don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to tackle some of the bigger chains soon and, you know, give you guys what you need. More places to find great ROM.